Hello everyone and welcome to another Dark Souls 3 PvP Invasion video. Got something a little bit different for you today. I'm starting a new series that I'm calling Organic Invading. So, I got actually inspired by Sunlight Blade of all, of all people. Um, you know his new series that he's doing where he's invading people in order to progress the game. I thought that was quite interesting. And one of the things that I haven't done in my years of invading is non-twink stuff. I mean, I've twinked the fuck out of almost every area in this game. Um, but doing non-twink stuff, using weapons and equipment that you find during the natural course of gameplay, I've never never really considered and never done it. So I wanted to give that a go. So in the theme of organic invading, the the rules that I'm setting upon myself for this um, for this challenge, so to say, it's sort of, yeah, it's a series of challenges for me. So the rules I'm setting for myself is that I have to dress up as uh, an enemy in the level, because otherwise what's stopping me from just using straight sword and shield the entire time? You know, I might be non-twink, but I'm still using good gear. So I have to dress up as one of the enemies in the level and use their weapons, if that is at all feasible. <laughs> I can only use upgrade items and equipment that I find in either the area that I'm invading in or the area immediately after that. So, for example, in High Wall of Lothric, I can use items and upgrade material from that area and Undead Settlement. And when we get to Undead Settlement, I can go and go to Crucifixion Woods and collect stuff from there. So it's going to work like that. So, I hope you enjoy the invasions. It is all live commentary. I hope that's okay. I wanted to do some live commentary stuff. I haven't done that since I very started this, since I started the channel like back in 2017. So that should be fun. At the end, we'll we'll get we'll recollect ourselves and we'll have a little chat about what I thought about the invasions um, at High Wall of when you're non-twinked. Uh, oh yes, I'll better show you what I'm, at, I'm running actually. So I'm a nice starting class. I haven't leveled up. I'm still level nine. Um, I've got raw longsword, raw spear, light crossbow, wooden shield. I could have gone for iron round shield, but since I made a video bitching and complaining about longsword and iron round shield, I thought it would be kind of hypocritical of me to uh, go for it here. So I went for the wooden shield, because well, some of the hollows use the wooden shield in this area with the spear. Uh, i got full deserter armor, so steel soldier helm, deserter armor, deserter trousers. They don't have any gauntlets, but I've just stuck the leather gauntlets on there just to complete the fashion on that the rings, I've got Chloranthi, Blue Tear Stone, Covered to Silver Ring, and the Flame Stone Plate Ring, which are pretty much the only rings you can have available at this point in the game, uh, at Undead Settlement. Um, because i got the Mortician Ashes, I can use like uh, Charcoal Pine Bundles and the Resins and things like that. And I've got Throwing Knives and Fire Bombs, which, is, which are very useful. And uh, my Estus is at plus one, and I've got seven charges of it, so that means I get three charges in invasions. That helps me out a fucking ton. <laughs> like, if I was to do with a completely unupgraded Estus, I think I might cry. So, <laughs> I hope you enjoy, and I'll see you at the end of the video. Weather 1010. Now, what army of twinks are you going to be pulling? Oh, it's a lap twink. <coughs> That's hilarious. Lap twink. <laughs> Generic lap twink. What's he gonna do? And he's got way of blue, so I think this is this may well just be a write-off. Huh? Oh, and he's lagging like hell. Okay. So, oh, and it's a dark moon. <laughs> a fucking dark moon with a dark hand. Yes, queen. Oh, thank God, another invader. Come on. 
Oh, the fucking <laughs> invader's dead. Oh god. This is why we don't invade at low levels. This is why. <laughs> this is why. <laughs> and the second one's fucking here. Oh god. Oh, holy shit. He's out there, I see him. Okay, we're just gonna sit down here. We're gonna pop a squat. Have a little sit. Oh no, here he comes. Oh, here we go. We've got, we've got an invader. It's okay. Oh, it's another fucking dog and a twig blue! <laughs> Holy shit! Ah, he fucking bopped me. Oh. This is why we don't invade at low levels anymore. Because it's literally this. <laughs> oh my god. Cat. Okay. Where's another password sign? Oh lord! Yes, let's fucking do this. Let's spank this gank. Let's spank this this low level gank. <laughs> what the fucking Christ! All right. Well, let's just go up there. Let's just do it. Let's go up and die like men. Go and die like men. Holy shit, there's, holy shit, there's so many of them. You're gonna... He did it! The absolute madman! <laughs> no, fuck! <laughs> Whoop! Whoop! Jesus Christ! Come on, just fucking... You can do it. I believe in you. I'm talking to myself here. What can men do against such reckless hate? What can men do against such reckless hate? <laughs> Fuck you! Oh, come on, please. No! <laughs> Whoop! Bye. Whoop! Jesus fucking Christ. Go on, another invader. Oh, don't tell me they they left. They fucking left. <laughs> they fucking left. No, we got a gank in this one little area. No. <laughs> fucking assholes. <laughs> fucking pussies, man. <laughs> oh, they've gone up to that little gank spot. Okay. Wait, where did they go? Oh, they went up there, did they? No, they didn't come up here. Okay, so they did go up there. Oh! Oh, they're going down to the fucking boss. Where are you going? They're over here. Yeah, they're down here. Come on. The buff one, let's do some damage. Oh god, here we go. Okay. They're probably gonna make a beeline for the boss. Yeah, they're down there. Okay. Ah, don't knock onto him. 
here we go. Here we go, lads. All right, I'm going for the host. Or maybe not. Don't die! Whoop! <laughs> Moan down in the street. Oh. <coughs> Phantom Malay has returned home. Sergei Chapeau. Sergei Chapeau. Okay, so are we waiting for a resummon or are we. I'm presuming we're waiting for a resummon, let's say. Oh! Yes! Fucking kill! <laughs> yes! <laughs> AFK kill! Fucking get out of there! Shit! Oh, oh, have we got something actual low level? Fuck me. Something big black cock. Oh, well good. Well good, mate. Yes! Finally. Yay! <laughs> Finally! <laughs> An actual kill of regular people playing the game normally and not with level 900 phantoms. Shit, the bed. Woo! Um, Hiro no Kishi. So, Japanese player. Uh, the knight is dead. They've probably gone down below, but let's check up here. Okay. Right, so this get guy's connection is most likely going to be garbage. Hmm. Oh, I can hear them. Oh, they are down there. Fuck me. And we've got a password someone, of course. Right, let's get the buff on. Let's see if we can get some verticality on. Get fucking verticality on, bitch! Get fucking wrecked, son! Yes! Fucking take you by surprise, motherfucker! Get out of the way, fat guy. Nope. Yep, nope. Oh, that was good. Look at all those fucking souls! Look at all those motherfucking souls! Yes! Fucking... Get some! <laughs> yeah, boy! 82,000 souls, so level 9. Shit on my face and call me a fucking bitch. Fucking daddy's gonna be eating well tonight. Yeah! <laughs> Old shirtless. Old shirtless. What about young shirtless? Middle-aged shirtless. Okay, there he is. Please don't plunge me. Oh, shit. Oh, actual regular players. That's unusual. Let's get that buff on. Okay, that's fine. Take that. Woo! Gonna run out of fireballs eventually. And then you're gonna have to. Oh, that, yeah, like that, <laughs> for example. <laughs> Boom! Oh fuck. Okay. Well, at least I know he's not gonna. <laughs> Idiot. <laughs> You don't have any FP, sir. Uh, 
Right, let's see if we can bark a bomb at him. Or oh, just get tanked by bombs, that's fine. There we go, you remember to chug your FP. Good job. Oh shit. Oh shit! Thank you, base blue ring. Oh shit, that was. I shouldn't have chugged that second Estus. I got might, might actually end up needing that. Oh! Oh! I did it! Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he got the kill on me. <laughs> yes! <laughs> uh, DC Coco. Oh, two regular players again! Fuck me! Oh no, he's password summoned. Okay, fine. Go on. Oh, fuck me. Why did I do that? Okay. Lag is going to be a problem. <coughs> right. Right, let's get out of here. Right, I'm probably not going to come out of this one alive because the lag is pretty unpleasant. Yeah, you finish up, mate. Come on. <laughs> what are you trying to get me to do? Come on. Fuck you, bitch. Oh no! Come on! <laughs> that is such bullshit. I fucking walked into that. Come on. Yeah, okay. Yeah, we can we can stand here with our shields all day, mate. Wow. 
Oh, it's scary. It's scary in the real world. Oh, no. Oh, no. It's real scary in the real world. <laughs> Look at the fuss is so fucking pathetic. Oh. Which one am I going to shoot? Dipshit. <laughs> Wait for crossbow hollow to chip you out, mate. Yeah. Oh, you almost got fucking... Oh, fuck me. How did he do that? Through the lag. Whoop. Yeah, you get that bonfire, mate. Oh, he's nearly dead. Maybe I can chip him out with some bombs. Yes, I can. Oh. oh, they're both nearly dead. They're both so nearly dead. Oh, what else do I have? Yes! Get fucking Shrek, son! Yes, boy. The war of attrition favours the invader. Yes! Oh, fucking shield, mate. Shield. Oh, yes, your shield real fucking helped you there, didn't it? Kiennan Lafferty. Why does that name ring a bell? forward? Doesn't look like that he has. Cause that spear hollow. Oh no, he's still up there. I think. There he is. He's got the partners out. Okay, so he's swinging multiple times. 
Nope. Oh, he's got a parry tool now. Oh, I didn't know that R2 into R2 was a fucking true combo. Oh my god! Oh my god! Fucking kept that quiet, didn't you? Yes! Double kill, that's fine. GG, that was good. Like that belt, fucking kept that great combustion quiet, didn't you? Nice. Oh, uh, 99055. Oh, is it a uh, starting wizard class with friend? Yeah, it looks like they're actually low level. Oh my shit! Oh my shit! Fuck! Yeah, boy! None of that. None of that. <laughs> Lopez, me amo es Lopez. 420. 420 blaze it. <laughs> oh my. Someone's getting fucking shracks down there. There they are, I see them. Me amo es Lopez. <laughs> Password someone, but I don't think by much. Oh, dead. 
Thank you. Right, he's making a run for the bonfire, so I got my throwing knives. One last poke in the butt. Thank you. And poke. GG, sir. Thank you for being adventurous. Okay. Dame de luck. Peel up the panda. God, the fucking damage on that thing. Ridiculous. Whoop. Oh my goodness. That's one dead. Get that fucking thing. Fuck you. Oh, this is good. <laughs> I'm not even fucking concentrating. That's bad. Yeah, that's the kill. GG. Well, you know, he, he, they earned it. Well, the Phantom earned it. Damn, that scimitar did fucking good damage. So, yeah, those were some of the invasions that I was having at High Wall. Uh, I didn't spend hours and hours invading here, and I think all the clips you saw were all the invasions I had. Um, yeah, I didn't want to spend hours and hours here, because I want to try and make this multi-part series carry... I don't want to spend, like, ages trying to find clips of just, you know, epic gang spanks. I want to show the realistic fights uh, you get when you're invading at low levels, non-twink. So, what did I think of them? Well... I actually had a lot of fun. Some of them were colossal clusterfucks of bullshit, like the first one that you saw, where the guy was actually, looking back on it, was in New Game Plus. If you check out the damage that the dragon does to the Hollows, and the damage that his backstab does to the Lothric Knight, he is definitely in New Game Plus. So he's got New Game Plus, Estus, uh, all the twink gear in the world, and he's got way of blue on and he is literally the worst kind of person you can ever hope to meet in High Wall of Lothric he is essentially unkillable and that that is sort of the worst you'll find in this area, those sort of unkillable new game plus mega twinks 
And honestly, you mean you might relish the challenge of it, even if you are twinked out to the gourd. You're not going to be able to push out enough damage to dent him whilst still trying to avoid all the blues. It's just an unfortunate way. But unfortunately, I'm guessing now the game is slowing down a lot and uh, those kinds of people aren't as prevalent as they normally are. I, To be honest, if it was any other situation, I would just black wrestle out of those guys' worlds because it's like, I'm not going to fuck with you. You obviously have thought out what you're doing and you essentially become impossible. Um, but all the other invasions against regular players, um, even sort of the slightly bigger groups, those are quite enjoyable when when we're all sort of on the same page stat wise and upgrade wise then it, it becomes incredibly fun like even though I've got quite a small health pool so does everyone else and we sort of it's it becomes a bit of a mad scramble sometimes but you can you can get an enjoyable fight out of it very much so when you start introducing the the twinking phantoms and the and the, and the password summon that's when it starts to become a ball lake because even one password summon can just completely shut down any amount of fun you're having uh, invading him. Because the way the scaling system works, at least HP and vigor wise, is that the fan the password summon's health will be directly scaled with what the host's health is. So if the host has put like 10 points into vigor at this point, or, or, or something similar, then the the phantom will have a high, higher health pool to, to match him. So Give the high, give him the high. He has the high health pool, the high absorbance from his armor, and I don't think that his defense stat gets scaled down either. Combine that as well with the max upgrade Estus, if they become really fucking difficult to kill the password summons. You saw that I got, I got that quite cool verticality kill on that password summon. He gave me 82,000 souls. If I whiffed that plunge, it would have been near impossible for me to kill him unless he was completely and utterly garbage. And I just and he forgot to heal, he would have been almost impossible to kill. So in that instance, twinking is is kind of a necessity. But then, from my experience, when I've twinked at this lower level, it just ends up being a bit of a shit show, and I don't end up enjoying it as much because the disparity between PVE players and the hardcore twinky PVP players is so great that your steamroll PVEers, even big groups of PVEers, because you're just fucking almost unkillable but then the the super mega twinky pvp guys they become unkillable and your twinky means absolutely nothing it just becomes a fucking ball ache so <clears throat> if i was to invade here again i would stick to non-twink i think it, it becomes a lot more fun when you accept your own inevitable death against the big squads of password summons and all that you can have a lot more fun with it and the satisfaction you get from killing those kinds of players are enormously it's enormously great compared to if you were twinking the fuck out. So yeah, and uh, I enjoy the build actually. You know, the sword and spear combo is, is pretty good. The shield is shit. The fucking shield is garbage. <laughs> it's a medium shield and it's got like 56 fucking physical damage reduction. Decent, the only thing it's got going for it is decent stability. It's got like 50... 152 stability, upgraded the plus one, which is quite cool. But well, I really wouldn't recommend it. <laughs> Fashion's pretty good though. I always like the dessert armor. I took, I tell you what, it took me blooming a lot longer than it should have to farm that bloody dessert. Sorry, to farm that dessert armor up. So I'm interested to uh, hear what you guys think about sort of your attitude to these low-level invasions. Have you guys tried the non-twink stuff? Um, if not, I really do recommend you give it a go. They are, they are quite something. I don't think I'll be. I, I say that, but I imagine when I get to the forest and I'm having to fight against all the, the ganky twinks there, that I'm probably going to regret not having a prisoner's chain handy. <laughs> so the level itself, a high wall of Lothric. Um, I find it quite a, a nice area to invade it. In all honesty, there's some good choke points, good enemy backup. It's a nice verticality you can use to your advantage, and there's that the little shortcut you get going back up to the first bonfire is, is quite cool. Um, it's, with the big squads, the big Twinkie squads, the, the the enemy backup's usefulness becomes incredibly lessened because they can just it just 
pulverize the, the Lothric. It's basically, the Lothric Knights are your main backup in this, and you need to learn what their aggro range is and how to use them effectively. That first Lothric Knight, um, before you get to the second bonfire, has been instrumental in many fights that I've had over the sort of over the years um, playing at this level. And you need to learn how to use him, not abuse him. And you saw in that first fight that that Mega Twink, he was using Rapport on the Lothric Knight, so he, he obviously knows that that guy is to be feared, especially in New Game Plus, so having Rapport on his build was a, was a good shout actually, so well played to him for, for thinking of that. Um, I mean, you see the, the, the gameplay in the, in the background here, these Lothric Knights are sort of your last line of defence uh, against, a, against a party, you've got the three around here and the Blue-Eyed Knight. A lot of times people won't like to fuck with the Blue-Eyed Knight, but there are ways that you can get them up there to try and get them to fight you and the Blue-Eyed Knight. The the Spear guys, are, I think, are the, are the worst defenders for being a pain in the arse. It's just because it's very difficult to circle round backstab them unless you know exactly what you're doing and how to bait out certain attacks. So anyway guys, thank you for watching the very first episode of Organic Invading. I hope you enjoyed it. And I will see you in the next one where we'll be in the undead settlement as an undead settlement worker. <laughs> Should be fun. Alright, I'll see you again.